Morning, people. Morning. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. Time to get on the clock. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. What's going on, people? Yeah, so, hey. Finna go on to get this day started. Just now leaving the house. Six o'clock. Take me about 15, 20 minutes to get down to Olympia Springs, Georgia. Pick up a student. And we're gonna see what today holds for us. Yesterday was pretty cool. Today, I'm gonna try to make it the same. It's supposed to be a storm coming through from Florida, but hey, it look pretty clear now, so hopefully I can pick up, get to my stop, deliver, and um be done for the day. Got a pretty got a pretty short day today. Headed to Powder Springs, Powder Springs, Georgia, Dallas, Georgia, and um, Cartersville. So I'm gonna go on and get this day started. Let's take y'all through a look at what I do. So I just noticed my windshield wiper was blocking the view, so I'ma take down the camera. I wanted to let y'all see the ride to my terminal, so, but I gotta find a better mount to mount my camera, so I'm just gonna hold it and you know, drive like this. But, yeah, man, it's um it's 6.15 Georgia time, headed to Lithia Springs. That's where I parked my truck at the Atlanta terminal, in Lithia Springs, Georgia. We finna go pick up our load, man. I gotta start by the hotel first and pick up my student. I'ma let y'all meet my student. Um, D Tway. You know, I call him D for short. You know, I think he's um half African, you know, half American. But he a cool person though, man. You know, yesterday I was kind of picking at him, you know, just to make for you know a better day. You know, you gotta make your day go by. Can't handle boring lane work like you know. It's already stressful enough in a hot trailer for an hour unloading boxes and moving rotators. So yeah, man, I called him all <laughs> I called him big sorry, but my guy actually can work. You know, um only thing he need to prove improve on is is just driving. He like so intimidated about this truck. I think it's like 34. No, he's like, he's like 38. Yeah, he's 38. In that 40 age range, you know, so he's an older guy, so I would think, you know, he wouldn't let nothing like this intimidate him, but he act, he act like he's like 21 years old trying to learn how to ride a bike when he's behind the wheel. You know, I'm gonna let y'all, I'm gonna record it and let y'all see for yourself, you know. He sit up in the steering wheel like, you know, he's uncomfortable, and, you know, I gotta work with him on that. I don't just train people to unload the trailer. I train people on driving. I train people to back, close cornering, maneuvering. You know, the whole work. You know, so. Take y'all through it. You know what I'm saying? From start to finish. You know, show y'all how I go about my day. Like I said, it's going to be a short day today, you know. I live in Marietta, Georgia. And all my deliveries are like in a 50-mile radius. So I'm going down to Jackson, Georgia to pick up my load. Coming back up about 60 miles up to Dallas. Powder Springs first, Dallas second, and Cartersville. You know, that's north of um, that's north of Atlanta, uh, going towards Rome, so. <clears throat> yeah, let me let that car go by, man, let me. Yeah, so. 
don't know what it is about people that drive in Atlanta, man. Everybody loves to speed. Like, what's going on? Like, where you going to at 6 o'clock in the morning? You late already? That's another thing about trucking, man. If you get into trucking, you ain't got to worry about being late. You know what I'm saying? Unless you got a, unless you got a, you know, time frame on your delivery. But even if that, you're going to be sleeping in your truck. You know, you ain't got to worry about clocking in or being pointed out. You know, so it's a lot of benefits in trucking, man, other than the money. You know, you got to, you got a little more of your freedom. You know, you're going to spend a lot of time in that truck, but you ain't got people over you, you know, worrying how you work, worrying when you're going to get the job done. Man, as long as you do your job, everything going to take care of yourself. So, everything going to take care of yourself. On my account, I ain't got no time limit. I ain't got no deadline. I can go pick up whatever load I want to pick up, deliver it before the sun go down. You know, so. I love my account, but three years in the game, I'm trying to um, trying to go a different route now, man. You know, all this wear and tear on your body. It's a lot of work. I move 40,000 pounds a day, you know, and then I'm up driving, I'm up training, you know, keeping it safe in between the road for myself and everybody else around me. Like my man said, you know we got to drive for everybody else on the road. Yeah, so um, I'm going to put y'all back on once I get to my truck log in, do my own 15 minute pre-trip and then um, head down the road catch y'all later Let y'all meet my student today. You know what I'm saying? I'm letting him introduce himself. Go ahead and say something to him about D Tway. What's up, y'all? Uh, yeah, I'm D Tway. Call me D. But easy, you know, easy to pronounce. Tell them where you from, man. I'm from East Point. East Point, Georgia, Atlanta area. You know what I'm saying? My man finna put on work. You know, made it through his first week. Uh, training on Dollar General account, you know what I'm saying? So Day Friday, we're gonna get us a little low. I already told y'all where we're going. It'll be a little short day today. Let me uh, get some light in here, man. I can't see. Yeah, so. Finna get ready to do our pre trip and um, as soon as that computer log on, you know, we'll be ready to go. Walk y'all, walk y'all through all the little steps that I do. You know what I'm saying? Show y'all how to make money, not my money, but I'm going to show y'all how to make some money, you know, um, so y'all, y'all stay tuned, keep it locked, hope y'all stay to the end, hey, catch y'all later. Empty. What's that trailer number? Three one zero seven three. One more time, please. Three one zero seven three. All right, one more.
go down now before we get to bed. Let's see what our guy looking like. <clears throat> We'll get some gas when we get down there. It's a, all right, you good to go drive back? All right, thank you. It's a it's a gas station, one exit <laughs> down. We'll just stop there. <laughs> all right, folks. up and then be ready to ride. Y'all see the ride on the way down there, man. And I'll see y'all in a minute. Get this thing on hook. Go. Just made it back to the DC, so I'm gonna let y'all see the ride down here, but had no TV now. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my load now. See what they got for me. <clears throat> also gotta talk to my fleet manager because I'm taking off tomorrow. Got some daddy duties to take care of. <clears throat> yeah. We're about to see. What you doing, man? Yeah. All right. All right. Don't worry about that. All right, but I appreciate that. Good. About to hit the road. I'll let y'all when we get to our first stop.
change the D Twin show. He gonna show me all the ropes. I ain't training him, he training me today. D Twin. D show. That's what I'm gonna call the D show. Give me a TV mount, mount that right now. Mount one right now. My next student gonna get me a call all the time. So we got some work to do, fellas. We're gonna have to work on our backing a little bit more. You didn't record me backing. No, nah, I ain't record you backing. But we're gonna record, we're gonna we're gonna work on our backing a little bit more. But this is what we got right now. We had our first stop. We gotta get all those totes down on the U-boat. What you wanna do is you wanna put the U-boat on the on the lift gate and turn it sideways, turn it long way. Just like that, and bring it to you. There you go, bring it to you. Just like that, and lift yourself up, and you're gonna stack that U-boat full. Lift yourself up. There you go. See, the reason I do it like this, because you got that wall of all uh, U-boats. Right, I mean, totes right there. So instead of having the U-boat long ways, you struggling to keep it on the lift gate. Just turn it sideways and uh, fill it up, and then let it down. We're gonna put another one up there. You can throw those boxes off. So we'll, we'll throw them off. I get them. Throw them to the side. There you go. Don't matter how you go, how you start, put them on there. There you go. So yeah, we're gonna um, we're gonna work on this backing. He's gonna get better at that. And um we finna go on and knock this stop out. I'm gonna show y'all a couple short clips, how I do it. But this is how you make your money right here, unload. Family dollar, way different. We got rotators. Family dollar gotta touch every box from the top to the bottom. I done tried it, not for me. I already stood to my rotators, bro. But here go the stove. This is the space we're looking at. I'm gonna fill everything on this wall right here. Food at the top, food at the bottom, everything else back here, as you can see. So uh, let me go help my man D Tway out. Let me catch up. Finished with my first stop, as you can see, I worked up a sweat, ain't no joke, trying to head to the next stop, gang, yes, sir, catch y'all later.